Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, and here in my hands I have the two top-selling collapsible expandable hoses that you can buy to use in your yard. I've got the pocket hose here, comes in its nice fancy little packaging, and the somewhat less elegantly packaged X-Hose. This X-Hose has been on sale for quite a while and has a number of followers who think it's the best hose for this purpose. So I've got a Y adapter that I'm going to hook up to uh, my faucet outside which lets me hook both of these hoses up at the same time and apply water to each, see how long they get stretched out, um, see how fast they fill up, see how well they contract. I'm going to do a simultaneous side-by-side -side comparison of them. So let me head outside and we'll take a look. All right, I've got the two contenders here out of their packages. I've got the X hose in blue and the pocket hose in green. Let me stretch them out. The X hose is a fair bit shorter, I would say probably two feet shorter. Stretched out, it's probably around eight feet. The pocket hose stretched out is probably about 10 feet. And the connectors, you can see on the end, they both come with a piece that you can turn it to uh, turn the water off so you can uh, you know, not waste water once you've turned it on at your faucet in case you don't have some kind of nozzle on the end. Other than that, they look pretty similar, so it's time to hook them up to the Y adapter and test them out. All right, here's my test configuration. I've got standard 50-foot regular hose from Lowe's hooked up to the faucet of the house. And that goes over here, connects to this Y adapter, which has controls for each hose. And we've got the hoses stretched out here, and as you can see, the green pocket hose is at least a couple feet longer than the blue X hose. All right, I know we're not having a race, but I thought we'd compare them simultaneously here so the water is ready to go in them. I'm going to run over to the faucet, turn it on, see what happens. All right, three, two, one, water's on. Okay, let's see how they stretch out. This is pretty taut. Feel all the pressure in it. Comes out to here. This one's got lots of curly cues in it. But just about the same length. Pocket hose is a few inches longer. Got some leakage here the main Y joint, but nothing here. The X hose is not leaking. Neither is the, neither is the pocket hose. All right, time to see how long the hoses get when they're under pressure. Starting here, the tape measure. And as you can see, when full, the pocket hose is somewhat longer than the X hose. The pocket hose coming in at just over 25 and a half feet. If it were completely straight, I expect it would actually hit 26 feet. All right, time to see if they stay at this length when the, uh, the nozzle at the end is open to let the, some of the pressure out. I'm gonna run over there, open them up, and see what happens. Well, this is how they deal with reduced pressure when the valve at the end is open. You can see the pocket hose did shrink up a little, but it's pretty much staying where it's at. The X hose, I don't know what it's trying to do. It's trying to come spray me like one of those toys you had as a kid that would, you know, flap all around and spray the water everywhere. Yeah, but that's not what I bought it for. All right, going to close the nozzle on them. I assume they'll stretch back out. Well, the X-Hose needed a little help there too. I'm going to go over and turn off the main faucet and see what happens. I guess I'll turn off the main faucet and then open the valves at the end, see if they do shrink up back the way they're supposed to, their original length. All right, water's going off. Water's off. Oh, see the X-Hose already coming back. Seems 
seems like the X-hose does a better job of shrinking back up by a little bit. All right, I want to measure the flow rate of the two hoses. I've got them still hooked up to the Y adapter. All the valves are turned on. I'm going to run over and turn the faucet on on the side of the house, and hopefully these things won't go shooting around making a mess, but we'll see which one can fill up a bucket first. They're identical buckets, 10 quarts each. All right, and one little problem there. Had to reset them, but they're working now. Pressure's on all the way in the hose. Of course, it's divided by two, but definitely the pocket hose has got a big lead on the X hose. Yeah, I better run over and get ready to turn it off. As soon as that floats up, it's going to start spraying. All right, water's off. Definitely better flow rate with the pocket hose. Well, that's the showdown between the pocket hose and the X hose. Uh, both of them work as collapsible hoses. They do expand when you add the water. They do contract back up. But one of them does it a little better than the other one, I think. So um, I'll put some links down below. You can check them out, see what the current prices are, and see the specs on them. One thing I would do differently, even with the pocket hose, is I'd buy the 50-foot version. Wasn't much more money. But, and the, the 25 feet, it just uh, doesn't quite cut it. It, it show, I think it shows that the uh, idea of the compact expandable hose really does work and it is a, a viable option instead of a hose that you don't know what to do with that you leave lying around your yard or your driveway. So check out the, the uh, links below, see what you think before you go out and spend your money.